Greetings everybody, welcome to the AYB219 assignment this semester and this term Sage Handysoft is providing the software that you will use in the taxation law course. Now more than 7,500 accounting firms across Australia use our software with more than 40% of all returns lodged with the ATO being lodged by our software. That's 7,500 firms with even more users. So the software is used by many sorts of accounting practices from sole practitioners right through to large practices of 80 plus accountants. At SAGE, we have a student program. So once you have finished the term, you can continue your studies with the software. If this interests you, please let Steve know and we will send you the link for enrollment. It effectively allows you to hit the ground running if you ever desire to work in an accounting firm. And by the way, it is free for QUT students. Okay, so we're going to get into the software itself. Steve has contacted me and assures me that uh, you can open up Handy Tax there at the university. So all that aside, you're in Handy Tax and you're about to enter the client for your assignment for 2016. So we're going to go up here, we'll click on clients and new. If we wanted a shortcut, we could hit the F2 key here, but we'll click clients and new. And you'll see that this window pops up. Now our instructions are down here in the bottom of the left hand corner. So it's asking us, are we going to have an individual or a non-individual client? So a non-individual client would be company partnership trust. Uh, in this case, I believe your assignment is an individual. So we'll put in I here. And now we would put in the last name or the business name of the client. Well, it's an individual, so it's going to be his last name, uh, Mr. Jones, Mr. Thomas Jones. A reference code will come up here. Now, in terms of the software, that's very, very important. And for the sake of the assignment, let's just let the software uh, choose a reference code for us and we'll tab through. So as I'm clicking through here, I literally enter the information and hit the tab key. Tom is his casual name. In the assignment, you'll be given a tax file number. I don't have one of those today. And uh, he may be given an ABN in your assignment. If that was the case, you would add it there. So tabbing through still. The date added, I'm going to put in today's date. I just hit the uh, plus key and the date pops in for me. And at this point, if Mr. Jones was married or related to somebody else, I could literally pre-fill everything else by copying that information. But let's um, enter it in manually because that's what you'll have to do on the assignment. We hit A for an all-purpose address. That's what we'll put in. We're going to put in 22 Barlow Street, Clayfield, Queensland, 4101. Uh, we're going to ignore that and we're going to add in a phone number. So we'll make it this 32001000 and we might add in a um, contact email. So it's Tom, it's Tom dot uh, Jones hotmail.com if you were a larger practice and you had um, partners and things you could assign the client to a partner or to a manager if you have various offices a Sydney office a Brisbane office we would add them there the client is current we're certainly doing the return for them if it was a business we could add in best information here but I don't believe you'll need to do that in the assignment so at this point we would be quite happy with that We've got the main information of the client in and I'm going to hit close. It'll come up and because it's an individual, it's automatically going to pick an I return. It selected the I return for you and that's what we want it to do. And um, we may click the status of the return saying we've been interviewed or the client's been interviewed and we're ready to start it. 
Once again, you don't have to do that, but it's something you could do if you wished, or certainly would do if you were working in a firm. So we'll hit save at this point and hit close. And you can see now that the client is now in our database. We normally have a tax file number, an ABN there. And then down here, we've got the return. We want to open up the return. So let's just select it. And we come to this screen. Now, we want to keep this, this video brief. I mean, I could show you all the bells and whistles, and there is quite a, a few bells and whistles with this software. For example, if we wanted to go to the main form, I just hit the M key, and the main form will open up. And close that down. If I wanted to go to the front cover, see how the little C up here has got a little underline underneath the letter C. I just hit the letter C and it will open up the front cover for me. There's various ways you can navigate around. You can literally just click on it um, and it will open those sorts of things. So we're in our front cover and we'll continue on with the return. This is going to be a very simple return. Um, I don't want to do your assignment for you. Uh, I don't think Steve would be very happy if we started throwing too many complicated situations in here. So just for a basic return for us today and get the idea of it, you'll have a tax file number in here in your assignment, the names and everything think is pre-filled from the, the client database information. We're going to add in a mobile, so it might be 0400 111 great number. Um, he's in Brisbane. Once again, we might fill in a 31021 whatever it is. We have our email address, Tom Jones at hotmail.com. We can scroll down or we could literally click here to navigate through. If we wanted to go back up the top, we can just click up here and it'll take us down here. We can click date of death, it'll take us down to there. We want to go back to the address. So we can use this to navigate as well if we wish, but I, I normally just click down the page. It's it's no big deal. And for the, for the purposes of the exercise right now, I'm quite happy with that. And I'm going to hit save and I'm going to close it. We now want to move on to our main return. So I'm going to click here. And in terms of navigating around the, the, the return itself, I know this is something that's probably um, worthwhile. I just happen to use a go-to key, which I'm literally going to type G10, enter, and it takes me through to interest. If I go the letter G on the keyboard, 18, enter, it takes me straight to capital gains. So if you know what the, the number is in return, say deduction one, GD one, enter. You can just simply navigate very, very quickly coding your return in um, and it will navigate around the return that way. So just that G key, G and wherever you wanna be and enter, or you can just scroll down as you wish using your mouse key whatever suits you. But certainly once you start to do a few returns um, in, in a day, that G key is absolutely magic and it helps you um, get the return in as quickly as possible. So we're gonna click on here and once again, we've got this little help in the bottom left hand corner. And we're going to look for the main wage occupation code. It says here, if I put in F5, I'm gonna click F5, I'll get a list. So. I'm going to click fine in the assignment. It might be a solicitor, an accountant, a shoemaker, who knows what it will be in your assignment, but you'll, you'll go for the actual, I'm gonna pick a company director and it didn't come up. So I might pick the word director. You gotta be a little bit careful with your, um, the way you, you choose and type it in. So that's a good example. And he's a managing director, so, in this case, I'm going to say the client is a managing director. And at this point, we will put in the information from the PAYG payment summary. So this will be a, a number we'll go in here. Now, just a, a, a brief point to note here. You do need to enter a valid ABN. Um, if you don't enter a valid ABN, you'll get an error and it won't let you proceed. So Steve will give you that in the assignment details, no doubt. 
Now I've keyed ahead a little bit here. I've got the name of the uh, payer, my boss or the company that I work for is in here with the ABN that's associated. In, a, in this very simple example, we've got some tax withheld and a gross payment. No doubt in the assignment, you'll have some other information that you may want to consider at that point in time. So we're gonna go down and put some interest in. Maybe he's got a bit of bank interest in this particular case. I just went G10 and hit entered. And I'm just clicked in there. I can use the add button down here if we wish or edit. There's more than one way you can do it. I'm just gonna put some nab. Uh, he's got an account number, one, two, three, four, five, six, and he's got 10 bucks in interest. And for the sake of this, we're gonna put no here. So we've put in our, our, our interest in our very simple return. Um, we'll move on to the next step. We might um, add in, or he's gone to Alan and Alan. He had his tax return done there last year and his only deduction for the current year is $165, which is the tax return fee that he paid the accountant in the previous year. So at that point, we've got our data in. We now need to check if there's any errors with the return. So we will come down here, we will click errors if we want to see what the estimate is, how he's going, we can click over here in the top button. That will give us an estimate of how much or what situation is, whether he's in a refund or what's going on. We can certainly use over here to navigate as well. I prefer the G key, but if you want to navigate around by clicking over here, you can and you can keep that in mind. At this point though, let's go and see what errors we have. And you can see that we've got some errors that we need to get rid of before we can lodge. So you would go in, if you go select particular areas, we could hit go to, uh, we could click a report and it will tell us what's going on and what the issues are. And part of the job of this assignment will be to reduce these errors. So for example, I will show you this one. Uh, we'll hit go to. And at this point, it's asking us, if there's any additional information to put into these income tests. I'm going to say, um, no, there's not. I want a zero put in there and I'm going to hit yes there. That will put through most of them with zeros as you can just see. And he doesn't have any dependent children. We hit save, go back to the errors and you can see that error has now gone. So they're fairly straightforward. There's a help function here and I will let you work through the errors, go through the reports. It will explain you to you what the errors are and that will give you the opportunity to correct them. So your assignment is finished. We now need to print it out. Edit and click here. Your return will come to this page and you can literally scroll down and you can see the information that we've just keyed into the return. At that point, we could export to PDF if we wish and click here. If we do that, it'll open up in our PDF reader and we can just scroll down the page and once again, this will match the data that we've just entered. The other thing we could do is we could print that to our printer at that particular point in time if we want to print a copy and, and make some adjustments or handwrite notes on it, those sorts of things. So that's pretty much our introduction to doing the handy tax tax return and uh, your assignment. I hope these uh, little helpful tips have uh, been of assistance today and I wish you all the best with the assignment.